Let's look at our probabilities of measuring spin up and spin down for this quantum state. So one notation is to use p underscore plus for spin up, and that means measuring the spin in the z basis to be positive h bar over 2. So we're going to take our measurement state, that will be our bra, in this case spin up, and then we have our input state, which is this normalized quantum state. So a separate video looked at how we normalize this. So now when I go through, again, be careful not to lose the magnitude, not to lose the squared. We're going to have spin up as a bra, and then on the right side, we have 1 over square root of 13 from the normalization coefficient, and then we have 2 spin up plus 3i spin down. And then we have again magnitude squared. So now when this happens, when we have our plus with our plus, that's going to be equal to 1. But when we have plus with the minus, that's going to be equal to 0. Those are orthogonal. And so we can then simplify this. Again, if you're not comfortable with this yet, feel free to really show out um, multiple steps of work. But because this second term is 0, what we're left with is 1 over the square root of 13. And then we have times 2 plus with plus, because that's going to become our 1, and that whole thing is squared. So now notice that we're squaring that 2 and we're squaring the square root of 13. So a common mistake that I see is that you maybe pull this out without squaring it. So that probability that we're left with then for that spin up is going to be equal to 4 over 13. Now this was all real, so magnitude squared was very simple. So now let's go through and do the other one. Now you can ask yourself, if this is, we have some quantum state, the only two possible measurements are spin up and spin down. They need to add to 1. So since 4 thirteenths of the probability is here in spin up, we expect that our answer in spin down is 9 thirteenths. So if I do out my probability for spin down, that's again going to be now minus, so our spin down in the bra side, and our state in the cat side. So now we have our minus. Again, we have that normalization coefficient. Don't lose that. And we again write out our, our state. And now, if you get fairly comfortable with this, you start being able to do this in your head, do write out some work. If the homework problem is calculate the probabilities and verify that they add to 1, actually show some calculations. So here we again have that. And so now, again, this is going to be 0. The second term is going to be 1. So skipping some steps for the sake of board space, now we still have our 1 over square root of 13. But this first term is 0. So we only need to worry about this second term, which would be 3i. And then we have our, our minus minus, which is going to give us that 1. But notice now that we have the magnitude of a complex number. So when we think about that magnitude squared, remember that if you in general have like magnitude of x squared, that we can write that as x star times star. So, sorry, times x. So now when I have that probability, I'm actually going to write this as taking my entire thing and complex conjugating it, which is going to give me negative 3i over square root of 13. And then I'm going to multiply it by the original value, which is 3i of square root of 13. And so you see that we're going to get 9 over 13, square root of 13 times square root of 13 is 13. Then we have a minus i squared. So that i squared gives you a minus 1. That minus sign cancels it. So we get 9 thirteenths. So this is good. We expect that our two possible options, spin down and spin up, should equal 100%. And in this case, we see that we have 9 thirteenths plus 4 thirteenths probability. So that equals 1, exactly as we expect. So this is our spin 1 half system that only has two possible measurements. If we were to look at, for instance, a spin 1 system that has three possible measurements, if you again add up all possible measurements, you should get a pr probability of 1. So this is again some practice in using this uh, braquette notation, but always make sure that you start with that normalized uh, cat state.